Gambino, got that swagger All these pussy niggas round here don't matter All that I know is that I wanna dance with ya Moving closer before I go kiss ya Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um, today I'll be showing you guys how to advance shade and texturize your clothes. So if you want to learn how to, you know, make your stuff look extra cool on Pixar E, keep watching. And keep in mind this is a little bit of a harder um, tutorial and guide through. So if you are a beginner, please go watch my beginner's guide and my intermediate guide. This is for my baddies who can design as hell but just don't know how to properly, you know, add wrinkles, shading, just overall make your clothes look more appealing. So don't worry, I will teach you how the heck I do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this specific cardigan. I think it incorporates the most amount of detailing. Like for example, I have how to make like how to make like this like, stripes and then how to make like these wrinkles and the sh ch titty shading. <laughs> And of course, let's go on with the video. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna quickly go through how I made the base of that cardigan. I'm gonna be using this little pink color, which I think is really cool. Uh, click the plus, empty layer, and then drag that layer on behind the background layer, so layer four is on the bottom. Click the select tool, drag, and then do it around here, because I think I'm gonna do a short sleeves for today. And fill tool, boom, put that inside. Then make sure this is very important, guys. Click select box and select out of it so you're done using the select box. Now we're going to have to crop it. So I'm going to make the cardigan around this length, maybe. Maybe like a little lower, like, like that. And that's it. This is your base. <laughs> and let's just go ahead and do the neck hole really quick. Click the select, then ellip ellipses. It's like a little hole. Stop spreading these rumors around. Stop spreading a lie. Okay, there you go. Just click a backspace whenever you select with the circle. Then you're going to go to um, click the array. Actually, let's go back to select. Then I'm going to select this. Oop, go back to the rectangle. Uh, select, just like, like this. And then you're going to go to the eraser tool, click the brush, click this right here and rotate it so you have like a 90 degree like that and make the crease. So you're going to make it like, oh, hold on, that was really bad. Like that and then on the bottom a little bit, same concept, just a little bit like Boom, you have your cardigan. That's it, that's your base. Now it's time to shade. Uh, okay guys, so once you made your base of the cardigan, it is time to properly shade. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it very quickly. So the first thing you're gonna wanna shade is the exterior. So click new layer, then drag background again, have layer five on top of layer four. Go to black. I know a lot of people recommend shading with blue. Um, I haven't tried that yet, so please don't drag me in the comments. I will practice how to shade with my blues. But I'm going to be using black. Click the draw, the, the draw uh, brush. Click the brushes here. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to change it to 15 and make sure it's the third brush. So it's around, yeah, it's right here. So... Now we're going to do the lovely, lovely shading, and you're going to go, oh, wrong layer, <laughs> one layer five, go on layer five, um, and just make it like a little zigzag, like those are always the best, zigzag, and then do it here. I have this shading tutorial more in depth in my design like a pro video, but here is like the easiest way to shade, and then do it here. Do it here. Don't worry about being messy. <clears throat> My god, that voice crack was so bad. Don't worry about being messy. Oh, we'll clean it up after. Like this. And then... My bad. You only have to do it halfway. I'm not explain why. You can just duplicate it and then flip it. I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay. I'm going to duplicate, drag, flip horizontally, and then like this. So... It's perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> uh, here we go. That's cool. Then you're gonna 
merge them together so it will layer five and the other layer that you just duplicated um get merged and you're ready to go again say on layer five guys watch the layers and the same thing zigzag and like that okay now you're gonna take the slick tool brush and just make sure that nothing came out like that okay now for the fun part you are going your layer that was just created um now you're gonna go and click these three dots and you click overlay like this boom then you're gonna go to filter details blur and then blur it up watch it all fall out blur it up blur it up all right so i think like 32 is good then you're just gonna lower the transparency so it's not as bright by the way you guys can make like you know titty shadings if you want <laughs> but that type of stuff usually gets you banned so i try to stay away from it oh my god and how can we forget to shade the <laughs> we forgot to shade the sleeves don't worry you layer of course drag it underneath the background layer and let's go back in our blacks so brush same concept just do it here i think it's good and then here just shade it's okay to be messy like i said just make sure you're not going outside the sleeve or else your thing's gonna be blurry it's gonna look really bad so keep going let's keep shading just keep shading there you go and then the same thing applies you guys can do it here too but i just don't see the point of doing it click the three buttons then click blend mode then go to overlay Right, and then we're gonna go to details, blur, shade it. I go to 32, that's what I originally did before, and then decrease the transparency. Make sure the transparency is at 61, and then this has to be 61 too. Okay, all right, now we're gonna merge the layers. Actually, we're not gonna merge the layers, we're not gonna do that. So, after you successfully shaded, it's time to add the motherfucking texture, all right. So, for texturizing closes, I use wool lines. I will show you guys. I mean, I'll put the link of it in the description. But here you go. We're going to go to wool lines here. It's going to look something like this. This is uh, really good for adding texture. So, I'm going to just amplify it like this. And drag it, like I said, behind the background layer. But before we do anything, we have to erase it where places we're not using it. So, select tool. Then... Let's just go like this and erase. Continue here. We're going to take the select box tool and drag it out and delete it where we're not using it. Oh, I kind of messed up there. To undo, you just do control Z. Uh, let's keep, okay, I think that's, that. that's good. Yep, that's good. And of course, you have to clean it up here as well. So here for this part, I go a little bit out. Let's go change the brush. Just click the brush and then I'm going to do 10. Anyways, for this part, I usually go a little outside. So I'll show you what you mean. So let's delete this. And let's just do this. Uh, yeah. So like I said, for this part, I go a little bit outside. So it's a little bit pink on the collar like this like that see it's a little bit like that and I do the same over here I just like how it's like kind of like a little sh like little highlight I think I don't know how to explain it but like I think it's really cool let's make the brush a little smaller there you go and then the same thing here I like God, excuse the background noise. Alright, so after I did all the erasing, if you zoom in, you can kind of see like there's a little bit of blur here. I think that's from the lines, if I'm not mistaken. But I take the select tool, and we could just easily clean this up. Let's see if it's deleted. No, it's not from that. Where is it from? Layer 7? Layer 5? Alright, it's from layer 5. I deleted it. But yes, now it's time to overlay those wool lines. So I click overlay like that. And I just decrease the transparency, like so. So now we have a lovely texture. And if you think of the shading, I think the shading that I did before is a little bit too much. I just let's 
kind of offsetting. I'm making it a little lower, and I'm making this one a little lower too. There you go. Boom! Look how nice it looks. Now it's time for the final step, which is wrinkles. This is my favorite, favorite part. And after that, I'm going to do like a little speed of how I decorated it. So, now for the wrinkles, new layer. Now, new, new pen, new tool. Click the pen tool. This is my setting, so make sure you have it to this. And have the pen color to black. And just, boom, draw your wrinkles as like kind of like sloppy but also kind of neat i like i love i love doing like wrinkles it's so fun see how i'm doing guys i don't make it straight lines because i've never seen a straight wrinkle before like that's weird as hell but here for this one i don't oh, i didn't like that wrinkle for this i don't duplicate it because i think wrinkles are random I'm not supposed to be symmetrical so continue drawing like these funky lines i don't know something that Oh, that was way too big of a wrinkle. But yeah, just like randomize it. Looks really cool. Then, don't do anything. Leave it like this, right? Make sure in the wrinkle layer, duplicate it. Duplicate it and then drag it a little bit higher. Like this. See how it looks like? Like that. Now, listen guys. Click adjustment. Color lookup. Click the color. White. Drag the white all the way. So it's like this beautiful okay now watch the magic occur you're gonna merge the layer of the white and the black together merge down and then watch this magic blend mode transparency i mean no, i'm sorry blend mode overlay okay listen 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 details blur what's the wee bit and then the transparency oh my god look at this Look at this. Absolutely beautiful, okay? And now you have these awesome wrinkles. And if you feel for whatever reason you want to make them even less transparency, okay, like, this is good. This is fire. See what I mean, guys? Like, look at that. We just we just did some shit, and that shit was beautiful. That was just God-given talent. Now I'm going to just do a little speed design of how I decorate it, like, to look like this. Um, you know... So, yeah, just watch how I do it. So this is basically how I did the cardigan. As you guys can see, it's the exact same as the one before. Just maybe like a little bit different, but the idea concept is there. The shading is the exact same. The wrinkles, it's just gorgeous. So of course, you guys can try this and I hope you do. And you know, let's